Where subqueries really shine is as derived tables, meaning that the subquery returns an entire data set, multiple rows, multiple columns, and then that data set can be used as a data source in place of where you might place a table inside of the outer query. And this is very cool because you then can shape the data exactly the way you want to and submit it to the from clause. In this example, the derived table is solving the problem of an aggregate query that wants to show additional information. We'll talk about aggregate queries in the next lesson. But the problem here is that an aggregate query can only return columns that are either involved in the group by or are doing some kind of aggregate function, in this case the count rows. So to execute this simple subquery, I first need to be in the family database. And you'll see the aggregate query only shows us mother ID and children, which might be accurate, but is not very useful. So to use this as a derived table, we assign a table alias, we'll call this child count, and it can be used as a full table, as if mother ID and children is the data source being sent to the outer query. Child count is the name of it, so we can join on child count, mother ID to person ID, which is the first table in the from clause. Run the full query, and there we have the name of each mother and how many children she has born. And this is pretty cool. 